All right, YouTube. <laughs> Here we go. I got a better view of like the FPV camera. Let's try and uh, let's try and drive it around. Now, I'm looking in the phone. Oh, we hit some grass. This camera that I'm using, it really doesn't have like real good reception. There's me all bent over. And this is not even full throttle yet. Holy cow. And that happens when I go full throttle. The speed controller is something. It cuts out, see? And then it cuts back in. That's what I don't understand. But that's what happens when I go full throttle and then try and cut it back in. But let's see here. Let's see if you guys can get it. Now, see, I'm not full throttle. It drives around fine. But then if I go full throttle. I go full throttle with it. The mail lady's here. We can go drive it to the mailbox, but let's go. Let's give it a little bit of full throttle. Oh, there we go. It's always flipping over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Xavier loves FPV. I got him driving FPV. Um, he's driving his tiny whoop FPV. He loves it. But, as you can see, it does donuts really well. And that's with the Racer Star Black motor. Um, more rated for concrete. I'm gonna get some more of these little micros. Like, holy cow, that thing. This has gotta be at least like, I don't know, 20 miles an hour? I don't know, I mean. I do wanna drive it FPV, but I'm over here just driving it line of sight, just. But at least I got two transmission. Now I will say when I got the other, um, the other chassis with electronics, and I did this mod, you know, I took out the stock LiPo battery and I put the plug on there. Because what happened, the reason why I had to buy a chassis is because I burnt out my negative and positive on the wire leads were wrong. So I uh, went on towerhobby.com. They shipped me a chassis within like three days. It was here. So I put everything together, soldered it in, put the battery in. And I was having interference with the, with the uh, servo. Like it was jittery. Like you go to steer and the servo would wig out. And would be super super jittery oh it's running real good now i can full throttle it don't hit that wall oh there we go we flipped over but i i put the the new chassis on which this is the new chassis but i had to use my old servo from the stock unboxing you know chassis because every time i would steer see it's kind of kind of doing it but not as much i mean like i would steer one way and then the steering wheel would be like wee -wee 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 -wee. so then after a while i started driving around in the house and it just blew like the servo just it was just like i can't take it no more and i believe it's a five wire servo or a six wire servo not really for sure but um yeah look at that now we're at four minutes I'll let you guys see, because the other videos I was trying to do, they were only like a minute long. I'll try and uh, get a video so you guys can see the engine and stuff that I put in there. Now, the motors that come in these little trucks are 8.5s. I want to go buy one of the HPI Q32s and see if I can do this same kind of mod. As you can see, there's the camera. I'll show you guys up underneath the hood. No, what I did, I just painted it with a marker. There's the wire for the camera hanging out of there. I don't know if I still get the 20 minute runtime. Like I said, this is just me videotaping and it's actually running good. But yeah, I did burn out that servo. So I put the old servo in. See this? 
I hot glued the camera in there and just cut out the hole and that battery down there that's now hanging on the ground powers the camera I can just take this off and then we just got that nanotech um, nah, it's a nanotech 3.7 volt 260 mAh 3S or 35-70C and that's not good to have batteries on concrete discharge them UPS guy is that for me? No, not for me. Xavier's getting a pit bike tomorrow. Should be in soon. We're going to be riding YouTube, so we're going to get some riding videos in. I don't know if I'm going to try and get a Honda Gram. I'll try and see if I can get a loan of a Honda Gram. Let's see how fast this thing is without the body. Oh, <laughs> it just does donuts, huh? No stripping, that's good. Maybe because of the carpet was making it strip or something. Being riding on the carpet, it was stripping the gears. But on this concrete, this little car is sweet. Best 50 bucks RC car I bought. Way better than that ECX um, little ruckus car. And it's way fun driving at FPV. Super fun. But all right, you guys, I'm gonna get ready to drive this thing around FPV so I don't waste out all my battery. And um, like, share, subscribe. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. For the like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff, we get the end, and we don't get to talk to each other until like tomorrow or something. Got some mud on there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that can in there, see how it's, see how there's a black can in there? That's the Racer Star motor. I will let you know what the part number is on that, but I got it up at Excel Drums. So, you guys can order it from Excel.com. They'll ship it to you for this little, I mean, not for this little car. But <laughs> hey, it works, and the gear went right on to the uh, to the spline of the motor or the shaft of the motor, and it works out pretty good. All right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.